Curses were believed in medieval times. I'm not so sure they're not still believed. Mm -hmm. But they were certainly believed in medieval times. So it wasn't simply somebody saying to somebody, uh, oh, may you rot in hell. It was literally whatever it was you said had substance. It was as, as though it was some kind of speech from a god. Not that Margaret is a god, but that you, you brought your speeches down from the heavens and you directed them at the person that you hated and wanted something terrible to happen to. And so in Richard III, when Margaret curses the assemblage and all these people she blames for the fact that her husband, Henry VI, is now dead and that she, being a woman in medieval times, had really almost no power once her husband was dead, she blames everyone around her for this, uh, for this uh, situation. And in fact, she is right about a number of them. They did indeed kill her husband. They did indeed kill her son, who was going to be the next king. And uh, one of the people she is most adamant about hating is the queen that she feels, that Margaret feels, took her place. So this is Elizabeth Woodville, who was a commoner, and she married Edward IV. So Margaret's hatred is really uh, zoomed in on her, mm -hmm. and she calls her poor painted queen and wishes her all kinds of evil. So that when, as the play progresses, after the curses have taken place, we see Margaret's curses actually come true. So they had a lot of power, and she's got quite a tongue. <laughs>